Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now. And this month we're here in Greece with scientists researching the growing problem of heat stress in the workplace. Many of us have to work outdoors, even in a heat wave. So what's going on inside our bodies when the temperature rises? It's not our kidneys, it's not our lungs, it's not our heart, although these are also affected. But the central nervous system is the one that first breaks down. Well, that's our report coming up, but first, the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. March 2024 was the warmest March on record on a global level, with temperatures 0.7 degrees Celsius above the 1991 to 2020 average. Germany and the Netherlands had their warmest March since records began, and it was much warmer than average over the eastern United States and Canada. Meanwhile, parts of California were unusually cold and snowy. To put the data into a historical context, we have this graph of air temperature anomalies since the 1940s. It shows how the first three months of 2024 were over 1.5 degrees warmer than the pre-industrial average. Last month was wetter than average in much of Western Europe, especially France, Spain and Portugal. The heavy rain is reflected in this map of precipitation anomalies in blue. We can also see that the coast of Norway and parts of Eastern Europe were drier last month. Now to our report on the risks of extreme heat in the workplace. The World Heritage Site of Meteora in central Greece is one of the country's top attractions. For the visitors, it's a day trip destination, but for tourist guide Nikki Milu, it's her workplace and the heat can be hard to bear. Πολλές φορές έχουμε 35 και πάνω από 35 βαθμούς Κελσίου, οπότε αυτό είναι αρκετά δύσκολο. Climate change means heat waves in Europe are becoming more frequent and intense, and heat stress is a persistent problem for Nikki and her clients. Πολλές φορές πρέπει να περιμένουμε αρκετή ώρα στη σκάλα για να ανέβουμε σε ένα μοναστήρι, οπότε αυτό δεν βοηθάει τον κόσμο ούτε εμάς να μπορέσουμε να να τα πεξέλθουμε. Like Nikki, a rising number of Europeans are now subject to what's known as heat stress at work. Here at the University of Thessaly, researchers are studying exactly how workers' bodies respond to the heat. Professor Andreas Fluris leads the research, and today he's studying farmer Athanasios Peristeris, fitting him with sensors to measure his energy use and the temperature outside and inside his body. So on one hand, we need to know how his outer, I would call it the shell, outer body feels, but also the core body, which is really important for brain temperature. The next step is to perform heavy manual labor in this chamber, which is warm to heat wave conditions. As Athanasios works, 85% of his energy turns to heat, warming up his body, including his brain. While he's doing this kind of work, his core temperature is rising. And if it rises beyond 39, 39.5 degrees Celsius, his brain temperature will start affecting how his nervous system works. At some point, your brain will collapse, and this will result in uh, a condition that can even lead to, to death, uh, which is we call heat stroke. Back on his farm, Athanasios is hard at work. He admits he suffers on the hottest days. Η αίσθηση που αισθάνομαι όταν απ' τη ζέστα ή όταν τέτοιο είναι δυσφορία, πόνο στο στήθο, κάτι σαν βάρο εδώ μπροστά και δυσκολία στην αναπνοή. Such symptoms are the first sign of trouble. When the brain and body is too warm, workers should stop, rest, drink water and seek shade. Doing so will preserve their health and preserve their productivity too. One very important issue to understand is that heat is a lose-lose situation. Both the workers are losing their health, but also the employers are losing a lot of bottom line, a lot of financial benefits because of the losses in productivity. But we've seen that with simple and practical solutions, you don't lose any productivity. In fact, you gain productivity instead of losing it. Well, that's all we have time for, but you can read a lot more about heat, health and climate change on euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.